I'm a Navy Nurse Corps officer, have been for almost the last uh, nine years. And currently I work at Naval Medical Center, Portsmouth, Virginia, where I'm an oncology nurse on the inpatient ward. When I first meet a, a patient and or their family members, I introduce myself as Lieutenant Fight, and I'm going to be the nurse taking care of you today or this week or, or so on. No salutes, but um, certainly we address, you know, um, our patients by their rank. If they are a service member, veteran, retiree, and make sure that they're afforded all the um, common courtesies uh, that customs and courtesies we would in any other environment. I think whether it's a civilian hospital or um, a, a military treatment facility, patients should always expect to receive excellent care, um, no matter what kind of facility they're stepping into. But I think what makes, what sets apart when they come to receive care at, at one of our facilities is that they're already getting treated by healthcare professionals who share the common bond and experience of, of serving with them. So immediately we have something in common. We kind of understand at, at least on a very base level, the experience that they and their family members have had or are still going through as active duty service members. Right. The stressors of moving all the time, deploying, just being able to take care of family on top of all that. And then the additional challenge of having a new diagnosis and understanding um, how their treatment will go and all of those types of things. Uh, I think they, they, they feel well taken care of when they have other service members and people in uniform who are coming in and out of their room every day. We so often are the constant with them and or their family members. The repetition of seeing us establishing that relationship with them, providing them with the education they need, getting their questions answered, following through on requests or clarifying things that they need better understanding of, ensuring that their symptoms are being well managed and controlled for them. All those little things add up um, as we develop our relationship with our patients who we often will see, you know, intermittently or sometimes continuously over the period of of weeks to months with any specialty. In oncology, nurses who take care of our, our patients have, have specialized knowledge of their field and the tools that they need to be able to deliver safe and effective care to uh, the patients who were, especially those who were actively treating uh, but then to also be able to intelligently and adequately answer their questions. Now, of course, when it comes to questions that are more about, you know, how a disease is treated or a particular procedure that is performed um, by a physician, that's absolutely their expertise. But questions about a disease or about the type of treatment that we're giving for it, side effects, what they can expect to feel, what we'll be doing for them to help either prevent certain symptoms or help alleviate them to the, the best that we can, how we can um, keep, keep our, our patients as, as functional as, as they can be so that they can maintain uh, the best quality of life possible, both during their treatment um, in an acute care type setting and when they go home. Anything personal, I think, is for, for any type of patient can be difficult to raise with a physician. And I think oftentimes because we as nurses spend 
so again, spend so much time um, with our, our patients and are um, often able to uh, develop those relationships where they get to the point where they feel uh, more comfortable uh, talking to us and asking us. I mean, anything from, you know, I feel like this might have been a dumb question and didn't want to ask it to things like, you know, how is this going to affect my sexual health or my um, relationship with my partner? Those types of questions. It will be the nurse who uh, the patient opens up to about those things. And we can either answer it to the best of our knowledge or we can be the one to relay that to the physician and and get them back involved in the conversation if maybe it was something that you know that because we are staffed there 24 7 and we can often concentrate on our particular patient assignment at a time um, on a shift whereas a physician might be responsible for many, many patients on all different units of the hospital at a single time. That does afford us the time to be able to really sit down with a patient and um, make the time for those important conversations. It's just important for them to know that we are going to be, if not their number one advocate, one of their best advocates in the professional setting and that whatever it is that they need or maybe confused about or just don't know what to decide or um, how to uh, you know explain certain things to their family that we are as really often at the center of the healthcare team that's taking care of them, we're well positioned to reach out to the appropriate members of our team and come up uh, with a plan to um, address those, those needs that they have. With all service members, more generally, you tend to see a lot of stoicism, a lot of maybe fighting through certain uh, difficult or painful symptoms where, you know, someone different might be more willing to just say very upfront, you know, I'm having a hard time with this, but, um, and that's, that's too why it's so important for nurses to uh, really get to know their patients, know their personality and, and really elicit that because especially when it comes to symptom control, we try our best to not let them get to a point where um, it's now so so bad that we're we're fighting an uphill battle to get it under control. In my experience, special forces, Navy SEALs in particular, they they will fight through through anything, and sometimes it's it's almost a challenge to uh, get them to you know take something for. For, for example, for pain or, or something like that. Um, so they, uh, a lot of times will, will grin and bear it. And it takes a lot of, a lot of convincing from, from their, their nurses to, to get them to do otherwise. When a diagnosis or, or treatment is brand new and what we try to teach them, you know, is that if you, you keep letting that go on for a long period of time, eventually it'll just, it'll really wear you out. And suddenly you will get to a point where, you know, you're, you're not able to get up in the morning and do the things that you want to do with your day because you've gotten really behind on, for example, I'll use pain again, just because it's so common, getting behind on controlling a symptom like that and keeping it at a place where, you know, you're able to be able to do the things that, that you want to do on a daily basis in life and be able to enjoy each day. When we know a patient is coming up on a birthday or an anniversary, something like that, you know, getting together and pitching in to 
get them some balloons or some special food from, you know, out outside if, if they're able to have it, bringing that in, just, you know, making their time in a hospital bed where no one wants to be a little bit more tolerable and, and special. Those, those are the moments, you know, that, that really make, make me happy and show me and, and my colleagues, you know, remind us why we got into this profession in the first place. I've, I've had patients of, uh, of all ranks who are, who can be a little bit grouchy, but that's so uh, par for the course in our work. And what we have to remind our, ourselves as nurses is that, you know, we, and again, back to, because we do spend so much time with them, we can often be on the receiving end of, of frustrations, but we know that, uh, you know, it's not meant to be directed at us, or it's not about something that, that we did. Cause even when we're, we're going above and beyond, we can, we can still have patients who are upset, but it's, it's, we know it's, it's not about, it's not about us. It's, it's about other stressors that are going on in life. And we just have to remember to do our part in helping alleviate those stressors as best we can for our patients.